What's up? It is day 11 of this video trainer. So uh, it's gonna be tough today. I'm out for fucking blood, man. Um, it's gonna be back and hamstrings, and uh, let me warn you now, it's gonna be tough. It's not gonna, you know, I'm not fucking around now. As we get closer through this transformation, it is gonna become more intense. As I say, sometimes we have to do things that others aren't to get the results that others can't. And that's why we're gonna be smashing hamstrings and lower back, you know, with the deadlifts and other back movements, along with hitting the other upper abs, you know? A lot of people don't do that. The reason why we're gonna be doing it this way, and I told you last week, just to reiterate, is that once we've really targeted the lower back and really break it down, specifically when we're doing deadlifts, we do have some assistance from the hamstrings. We do get involvement from that. So it makes sense to follow up with all our lower back work then with hamstrings. And once we finish there, because we've targeted our torso, with our lower back, uh, we can then perform abs to really build upon that. And today we'll be hitting upper abs because at the beginning of the week, we work the lower abs. Man, I can feel this pre-workout in me, so uh, we'll talk a little bit more after the first exercise. I just want to go after blood now, so let's get into it. Let me see if I can talk now. That destroyed me this week. Whew, so, lower back, obviously. Start off with deadlifts. Did a couple of warm-ups here. I did some dynamic warm-ups. Make sure that uh, I am movable. I've got a little bit of elasticity in and I'm not too tight. My first set, I did five plates aside. Managed to get around five or six repetitions there. Rested for a couple of minutes and then went back in and got another set of five or six, but this time I did a drop set. So I stripped the weight down to four plates per side and did another five, five reps there. Then after a rest, I went back and done a third set, but this time I started with the four plates per side. God, I think I did about eight, eight or nine repetitions there. Stripped down to three plates and did another eight, nine, maybe 10 repetitions there. And once I was done there, went on to rack deadlift. Put a Reebok step here just to lift me up a little bit so I could go below the kneecap. Once I done a set there, of uh, around 10 repetitions, I just grabbed hold of my resistance band, wrapped it around my neck, put it underneath my feet, and then knocked out about 20 reps, and repeated that. Did uh, 10 repetitions and 20 reps, and that is it for lower back. Now my hamstrings aren't really warmed up, so uh, they're primed for the next exercise, which is gonna be uh, the machine of three, lying leg curls. Right, two exercises done for hamstrings, that's all we need. So we started off with a lion hamstring curl. After warm-ups, I got to failure at uh, 20 repetitions. 20 repetitions, and after about a minute's rest, I bumped the weight right up, which allowed me to reach failure at 10 repetitions. And then I immediately dropped down. After that 10 repetitions to failure, I dropped down a little bit and did another uh, 10 repetitions for absolute failure. So set number two was 20 reps in total. So that was a single drop set. And then my third exercise was a double drop set. So I reached failure again at a heavy weight at around 10 repetitions, immediately dropped the weight and went straight again so I could get out another 10 repetitions and then dropped it again for another 10 repetitions. So the first set was 20, second set was 20, third set was 30. So then I went over to a low pulley and I had one of those ankle cuffs. So what I did was 20 reps, 20 reps, I increased the weight slightly, immediately went into my 15 reps on both sides, 
put the weight up slightly again and immediately went into my third set of 10 repetitions. So it was 20 reps, 15 reps, and 10 repetitions. And that is it. Hamstrings are done and dusted. All right, so we're gonna hit abs as our final exercise here. And I don't really like abs. I'm gonna put everything into it because if my brain is telling me not to do it, I'm gonna go fuck it twice as hard, so let's go. Abs done. I've begun with weighted sit-ups, reaching uh, failure at around 10 repetitions per movement. So I started off making sure that I had the barbell slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and I made sure that I pointed it vertical all the time. Even when I came up into a full sit-up position, I had my arms vertical to keep resistance placed upon the abs throughout the entire range of motion. And then I immediately went into a rollout. So I put uh, a plate, bumper plate, on each side of the barbell. I rolled all the way out until my torso was flat on the floor and then I came back in. So then I rolled out around 10 repetitions in here. here. Then I immediately rolled onto my back and knocked out uh, 10 crunches or 15 crunches, but anywhere where you're going to reach failure. First set, I just came up, you know, straight up and straight down to target the abs. Then the following two sets, I made sure that I came across to target the oblique a little bit. So once you've done one entire circuit of those three exercises, rest for about a minute, not long, and then pound it again and pound it again. So uh, that's it. I'm gonna put these weights back, get my re-cage down, and I'll meet you at the entrance. Day 11 gym workout is complete. Today was brutal. The brutality is what's gonna get you to change the shape of your muscles. And this goes for male, this goes for females, this goes for intermediate, beginner, advanced, young, old, everybody. But you have to go hard, you know. Do not treat your body or yourself like a piece of china. Your body, the human body is made up a lot harder than that. It's conditioned, it is hard. But a lot of people's weakness don't allow them to fulfill their potential. So that's what we're here to do. This is a tough workout. Tomorrow, uh, we've got the rest of our back that we've got carbs to do. So what I'm going to do is give you some homework to do tonight. I want you to go home and practice some meditation. Have yourself a bath. Try a bit of painting. Try going out for a walk. Listening to some nice relaxing tunes so it activates your mind, but you're able to then focus on relaxing yourself and lowering your cortisol levels, because that's gonna be the name of the game. And the only way that we'll continue to grow and evolve every day, every week, every month, every year, every decade is through recovery. Okay, so that's it for today. Talking about recovery, I'm gonna have a quick wash now and then go straight to my cryotherapy and have uh, my back aligned. And uh, if I've got time, I'm gonna go uh, probably to the food bank or something, but we'll see how we do for time, because I got some things to do today, but number one, let's get over and uh, I'm gonna get my cryotherapy in and get some uh, recovery happening for tomorrow's brutality. So after the workout here, um, it was, uh, it's, it's been quite an interesting hour. I went straight to the cryotherapy, had uh, the PNF on my back, which was very, very sensitive. I also had, I, I must have had a very low voltage uh, because the electrons are really pulsating my back. It was very sensitive. So obviously I had a lot of inflammation there from doing those deadlifts. Um, and then had the cryotherapy and got my back aligned and then immediately went and picked up uh, some food from Nutrition Solutions that Chris Cavallini had sent over uh, to donate it to the homeless here. When I changed my diet, they hadn't stopped these ones, apparently. So when these arrived, I contacted Chris. I said, I think you sent me the wrong order. And he said, no, the original wasn't canceled. I was like, okay. He said, just put them to good use. And I said, well, I'll see if I can get hold of uh, 
food bank then and donate it or something to the homeless. And Chris was a guy that was homeless. So obviously this is a, you know, for him, he's like, yeah, shit, I'm down with that. Chris Cavallini, who owns Nutrition Solutions, is a very, very good friend of mine. And the story that that guy is phenomenal, like he was homeless himself. But to know that he's come from a homeless background and now giving those food, uh, those foods, you know, from Nutrition so uh, Solutions to uh, the homeless, it's, uh, it's quite ironic, isn't it, you know? Anyway, great stuff, great stuff. No worries, man. ta -da. See you later. So that was good. There was like 24 meals in those little protein cookies or, and uh, protein bars and at least they're going to have healthy meals, isn't it, you know? I'm going to get some uh, food down me myself now. Now I've fed those and uh, have my, do a little bit of work, have a shower and then we're going up to the lake this evening to see if I can stand finally on the wake surf. I'm sure I can. I'm a badass. Good evening. It is the end of day 11. Uh, today was a brutal session. My back is starting to seize up already today. So after I finished the workout, went and had my cryotherapy, my alignment, my PNF, then went down to see the homeless and give them a load of food uh, from Nutrition Solutions, uh, which felt great, very rewarding. And then uh, came back and did some uh, work. And following that, um, I went up to the lake with some friends, Karen Hobbs, IFBB Pro, who's my eel yoga instructor, and her husband, uh, Evan. So went, uh, did some wake surfing up there, which was a lot of fun. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's good to get out and do something like that and just break away from the computer, the schedule, the conference calls, the workouts, the diet, everything. So you get that balance and then when I come back today, even though my body is freaking sore, especially my lower back and hamstrings, um, it just revitalizes you to get back into it with uh, more vitality, more energy, more motivation, more intensity, and with a more euphoric feeling. I feel better about it. Um, so it was an enjoyable evening. Came back, did some more work, ate obviously, and prepped my food and uh, my supplements for uh, tomorrow's for tomorrow's session. It'll be day 12, and day 12 we have the rest of our back. Yeah, so obviously you are gonna be sore tomorrow, there's no doubt about it, but we'll be splitting up the back differently, so we won't incorporate uh, too much lower back, so you're gonna be good. It makes sense uh, to hit it this way, and after a couple more weeks of getting used to this, you'll understand why. All right, it is time for me to collapse relax and get ready for tomorrow's day 12.